everybody. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me into the RAW. Um, I've been looking um, looking forward to making this video. <laughs> it, that, that's funny, the irony of that. I've actually been thinking of making this video presenting to you what I'm doing here with the herbs um, for a couple of weeks now, and and I've been so uh, overwhelmed with just the whole detox mode that honestly, this is the first I've had a, a, the enough energy and um, everything to get around to it. Uh, so here it is. Um, first of all, I want to thank those of you who have contributed thus far to my healing herbs. Thank you so much. I. I wouldn't be able to do it without you, <laughs> and um, and I'm so grateful. Blessings. Um, I started taking the herbs a couple of weeks ago. Um, these are from God's herbs uh, that are brought to us by Robert Morse, the naturopath in Florida. Um, and so some of you are are know about about this. And some of you don't, so uh, that's why I thought I would share with everybody. <laughs> I started out doing everything here, and it was such a slam that that I couldn't handle it. I had to pull back, stop everything completely for a couple of days until I could regain my strength and then start them up again. These are some really powerful herbs. Let me just give you a rundown here really quick of what I've got. So this is the what I started with, which is the kidney and bladder one formula. Um, because primarily I need to start with my weaknesses and my kidneys and bladder are, you know, the place to begin, I'm thinking here. Okay, uh, this is the lymphatic system one formula. This is... And these two are obviously, by the way, um, liquid that that go in in water or juice, uh, and these are capsules. And what I have here is Parasite M, endocrine glands, and stomach and bowel formula one. Now all these herbs are basically designed to to uh, work on the area of what it says, you know, what it's called in detoxification and regeneration, healing. So the, each one has the herbs specified. Oh my gosh, I feel like, oh, pardon me, it's so rather difficult for me to articulate my speech right now. It must I don't know, it's just part of like the detox, I guess, but I'm feeling sort of out of it. Plus, I've been up for quite a while. I got up rather early and uh, um, just feeling a bit spent here. And man, these things are kicking butt, I can tell you that. Anyways, each one of them is designed, uh, formulated to work towards like, for example, stomach and bowel formula to work, obviously, on cleansing and healing the stomach and the bowels, which is primarily a great place to start for anyone uh, to get to the bottom of anything, <laughs> well, literally, to the bottom of anything, is the bowels, including, like, when there are problems going up in, in the head area and, you know, lymphatic constipation up here. Apparently, there's issues in the bowels, and so that needs to be cleaned up first. Um, so, I'm working on all of these now. I started out with them all. It was way too much. I, I The day after I started them, I also started my menstrual cycle, which was a couple weeks late. It was lagging behind. So thanks to this endocrine gland formula here, probably along with them all, got things moving and I had about the heaviest menstrual flow, I think, I to date 
that I can ever remember having. Um, it was like crazy. And on top of that, I was completely wiped and I couldn't even walk. I was literally pretty much bedridden um, with the inability to feel. My, my legs turned into um, just lead lumps of, of, of clay, like lead clay or something that I couldn't feel and that were just dead weight, basically, um, and I couldn't walk. It was crazy. My, my theory here is that, that with all the herbs and being as fruity as I have been eating just like, you know, mass amounts of fruits, like juicy melons and berries and things like that, uh, when my cycle came, my body took, took it, you know, as like an avenue of exit for all this acidosis that, that's been stirred up and that I'm doing my best to eliminate and just use that as like an avenue of whew, detoxification and it was brutal to say the least. Um, so I started back up on the herbs slowly but surely alternating you know and instead of taking the recommended dosage I cut it in half so I'm taking like half of what the dosage would be rather than a half a dropper full for my size and weight I'm taking like quarter of a dropper full of these pardon me kind of dyslexic uh, of these and instead of taking two caplets of these formulas here uh, three times a day. I'm taking one caplet three times a day. <clears throat> there have been a couple of days, however, where I held off. Uh, and, and I've started them each up, all not all at the same time. Like, I'll skip, I'll start one, skip a day or two or three, start another, do the same thing, and when I feel it's like right, because it's been a real roller coaster, like some days I can barely move, I can barely walk, I can barely feel anything, can't, my fingers to my toes, and then some days I'm doing all right, I'm doing pretty good, and my nerve sensitivity, when it comes back around again, it comes back a bit more, which is epic, I'm so stoked on that. However, when it, when it goes down, when my nerve sensitivity drops and plummets and, and I lose my nerves and I can't feel, it just goes completely gone again, like as about as bad as ever, which is interesting because when it comes back, it's like upgraded another notch of feeling better. I know I just said that and I'm getting rhetorical now. Okay, so... Um, I don't want to make this too much of a ramble video, but that's how it's been, starting the herbs. Now I have them all going now. Um, like I said, with the dosages I'm doing, cut like down to a minimum. And um, my days have been feeling, literally, uh, sensory-wise, I've been feeling more, you know, um, neuropathically a bit more. I, I will have those waning days when all of a sudden it just go everything goes offline and I can't friggin move or I'll try to get up and once I get on my feet I just hit the floor to my knee fall on my knees because because there's nothing there so it feels like um, days like that are real rough and which is why uh, for the first couple of weeks starting out these herbs, I haven't been making videos, I haven't had the energy, the strength, or the uh, gusto to do it up until just, you know, now I'm feeling, starting to feel like on the upswing of things again, and it's great, and, and on that note, um, I'm getting an appetite, I'm starting to gain like a real, honest to goodness appetite, which is extremely... Um, huge to me because one of my major issues that had been drawn out for like you know a long time has been just an inability to be able to eat anything because of a lack of appetite and for a while it hasn't been this way uh, the nausea hasn't been around for a while now but 
but there was a time when I went for like a few years just feeling nauseous all the time, like it's from waking up to the time I go to bed, and that really sucked, you know? <clears throat> it's great to really truly have like not only a peaceful feeling in the gut, but a satiating like hunger that wants to eat and and I've been loving fruit so much it's just been so blissful I mean I mean foodgasm blissful um, my appetite when I wake up is just just like that incredible and I'm so grateful for it it's just thank you heaven thank you Thank you for your healing, and thank you for your everything, yeah. Thank you for shining on me, your love light shining so bright, oh. Yeah, I'm so stoked to be, like, hungry. <clears throat> Pardon the frog. I can't help but sing whether there's a frog in my throat or not. It makes no difference to me. Uh, I just feel it in my heart. <laughs> um, anyways, I love you all dearly. And I hope everything is going well and everyone is having a, a great time on their journey to Wellville as well. I'm, I'm enjoying this journey. It's been a real serious trip. No pun intended, but that was kind of punny. <laughs> uh, um, I love you, and I will be with you soon.